It's Wednesday, November 2nd. This is Geek Nights with Rim and Scott. Mostly Scott. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. So, I got to the train station this morning. I yeah. looked at my cell phone, and it said one voicemail. My cell phone really sucks at telling me when there's voicemail. It doesn't make noise or anything. Ah, I've told my phone to make a noise, and it makes a noise. I tried. Then I immediately looked to see how I could tell my phone to make a noise. Uh-huh. I couldn't find how to tell it to make a noise in a voicemail. I don't think it can. So the voicemail's my dad. So I check it, and he says, call me, which is real informative. Yeah, I hate it when people do that, because that always means either something bad happened and they didn't want to tell you in voicemail, or... They're just stupid, and they're not informative enough in their voicemails. It's the second one. Anyway, so I go, and I try to call him, and he I, he doesn't turn his cell phone on or keep it on his person. Great. So I got immediately dumped to his voicemail. <laughs> Did you leave a call me message? No. You should have. No. So eventually later in the day, he picked up the phone, right? And uh-huh. he's like, oh, you call me now. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Well, I was supposed to know that it was a timely call. What, what you know? What the hell? He's like, apparently, he got locked out of the house, <laughs> and I have a key to his house, and he would have wanted me to come open it. <laughs> now, just the other day, yeah, I do distinctly recall. Now, I, it made me realize that I would have had to go and uh, open the house because I expect them to come open this house if by some terrible accident we lock ourselves out because i did notice that the other day we were talking about just this yeah and i said what would you do if you locked yourself out and you said i just call my daddy and he'd come and open the door yep but now i guess i i have to do the same thing the other way yeah uh it's great that i don't have to deal with i should have said i didn't have a key to his house but no i do yeah i do but he probably knows you have it well he wasn't 100 percent sure he that's why he asked me if i had one but I wasn't going to lie. I don't lie. Yeah? So if you had accidentally answered your phone, you would have been stuck driving to Connecticut instead of going to work. No, it would have been last night. The oh. voicemail was last night. Ah. I just didn't see it till this morning because the phone sucks. How do you lock himself out? What was your mom or your sister? My mom is in the stupid basket tour thing. Or maybe, ah. she, got, maybe she got back already. I don't know. I don't know the story with that. Your mom and those baskets. But her birthday's next week, so I have to like, go there. I'll just <laughs> take the train there after work. <laughs> All then, right. Whatever. Yeah, nothing interesting happened to me today. Awesome. Yeah, I sat at work. I uh, didn't do a lot of work, and then I came home. Awesome. Yeah. I did work. I did work, but it was a lot of, like, install a thing on a server. So I'd st- do the install, do all the configs, and then i wait for, like, 20 minutes while it does what it's got to do. Firefox crashed. So uh, anyway, there's actually a lot of fairly interesting big news today. Oh, really? Ah, yes, really. Really? Oh, really? Oh, really. Yeah, really. So, uh, apparently the CIA is running gulags in uh, Eastern Europe. We knew that. Yeah, but now uh, the government knows that. Is or that at least I'm now sure the Amnesty government International knows it. Now the government admits that it knows it. Well, if you admit you're doing bad, doesn't that also kind of also mean we're going to stop doing it? I don't think so. That's not what I was led to believe by these uh, articles about you it. You can't say you're doing something you know is bad. Not only do they know they're bad. And not stop doing it. They refer to them as, quote, black sites. Because that's not an evil name at all. They don't call them anything like the puppy factory. Or... What, if, what if I'm a company and, and all of a sudden I come out and I say, yeah, we've got these uh, death camps. <laughs> and then they say, oh, I guess you, you've come out and you're going to stop death camping. No, actually, we're going to keep them going. Oh, you even can't better. Do that. It even just... better. The Washington Post knows where all these camps are located. They have chosen not to reveal this information to the public at the request of a senior U.S. official mm-hmm. because the disclosure might, quote, disrupt counterterrorism efforts in those countries and elsewhere. Well, we just know now not to read the Washington Post because they're a bunch of pussies. Yeah, yeah. Though, uh, from all the rumor mongering, it seems like uh, most of them are in former Soviet territories, and they're actually former gulags. Like, really? Old abandoned prisons and stuff. How can you do something bad? Usually you admit it, and then you stop. Keep doing it! 
Because they didn't really admit it. It's other people found out, and they don't know what to do about that. You close them, and you at the nah, minimum. Nah, you can't close them. Cause, uh, at the can't... minimum, you say you closed them, and you keep them open. Come on, you got to <laughs> at least look nah, like nah. you're trying. Because if they say they closed them, that's admitting that they had them. They already admitted they had them. We're beyond that. Not really. They just said... Don't talk about it, and they're fine. Then you know what you do? You say they don't exist, and you move them. Yeah, see, the thing is, the CIA will not acknowledge the details of its system, and but they acknowledge the existence of the system. It's not really. It's complicated, and no one's really. Everyone's kind of just going. Doo-doo. But if they didn't acknowledge the existence of the system, how do we know it's not just some bullshit made up by the newspaper? I don't know. Oh, that's great. Uh, apparently they were well. We, this they must have admitted it because apparently they were conceived in the couple months after September 11th. Well, fine. If they admitted it, then everything I said before. Yeah, but they're oh oh they're claiming that they aren't illegal and that they're part of the war on terror and that they need them. I'm killing this guy. It's it's all right. It's part of the war on terror. I thought he was a terrorist. Uh, Britain got away with that. Dude, the police will come here one morning and be like, "You, you killed your roommate." I'll be like, "He was a terrorist." <laughs> that might work. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that I'm more afraid of being shot or harassed by my own police department or my own government than I am of actual terrorists with And bombs. it's not even that I'm afraid that they'll get me because I do something terrorist-like. No, it's just, I'm afraid they'll just get me. I'll be walking I'm down the street. I'm afraid that they'll just, you know, think I'm a terrorist randomly, just by accident or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm not doing anything terrorist, for real. Yeah. Though not everything bad is happening in the U.S. this time. There's riots in multiple countries that most people don't know about. I can't believe we didn't know that there were riots in Paris. For like a week. For like a week. And no Hundreds one, no one told me. Burned. I read uh, Google News. Yeah, Google News had a blurb at the bottom. Only I, didn't, I, I didn't even see it. Because I have a like European Union Google News section, and this came uh, up at like the EU bottom. Section. And menacing youths have been rioting in the poor areas of Paris. See, I wonder how big this riot is if it didn't get to the top of newses. Uh, in one night, over 180 vehicles were torched. A uh, bunch of arrests, riot police. Uh, the city The city is generally in a state of panic, at least the outer, like, poor boroughs of the city. Wow. Oh, it's the Rodney King of Paris. Yeah. I mean, there have been a, couple, a bunch of deaths, but nothing, like, no huge massacre or anything yet. Yet? <laughs> Well, it's still going on, and no one knows how to deal with it. Some of the right-wingers in the government are calling for uh, various military groups to just kind of storm through the suburbs and subdue anyone on the street. This is what you get for being racist. Yeah. And uh, what's the other word? Xenophobia? Xenophobia? Yeah. Something like that, a little xenophobia? Ha, ha, ha. We are the xenophobe. I mean, France has the largest Muslim population of any Western nation, yet they seem to be the one of the most racist about Muslims. Well, you know, Germany, they had a ton of Jews there. <laughs> and, and they didn't like them because the Jews are doing good. Bam, good win. Okay. All right. <laughs> so where else was the rioting? Ethiopia. Ah, Ethiopia, that wonderful paragon of civilization. Ethiopia is pretty good compared to some other African countries like uh, yeah. Rwanda. Ethiopia was very nice until yeah. various things screwed it up. In uh, it's history. still it's still okay. It's yeah. okay. But what happened was they had an election. And uh, this guy won. The guy who was favored by Bush and such. Uh. And uh, favored by Blair. And so all the people were like, it was rigged. It was rigged. Right? Was it rigged? We don't know. Probably. Oh, great. Uh, but anyway, what did the people do? Unlike fat-ass Americans who sit around when it's obviously rigged and do nothing, they rioted. Uh. And they're still rioting. And... I think whether it was rigged or not, the guy who's in charge, who won the election, he put the opposition party in jail. Oh. <laughs> uh, see, up until you said that, I was thinking, all right, so the people are rioting, but it might not be rigged. They might just not just be overreacting. But damn. Yeah. Imagine if after the 2004 election, Bush had just been like, all right, Kerry Dean, uh, jail. Yeah. Way to kill the momentum by getting a call on your cell phone and making me pause it. Yeah. You know, you could have just ignored the cell phone. I don't want to. But, uh, why? We were doing something. The cell phone's more important than doing something. Because well, uh, uh, Adi, you didn't know who was calling. Yeah, I did. 
How could you have known? Because my mom just called, and then she called again. How about when your mom called and you got off the 